Hello everyone and welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. So, in the last video, we unlocked the next world, which I believe is called Noki Bay. I wonder if I can actually clean the shine spray. I think I can. Like, I think there's actually a way for me to get up there. But we're just gonna go in and uh, see what this is about, right? Uncork the waterfall. Now, I don't remember too much about this area. All I really remember is that there's like a giant bottle that you, well, a small bottle, I guess, that you go into. I believe there's also a boss, but that's all I kind of remember from this. Hello. Ah, welcome Master Mario, I presume. Freaking Toadsworth calling you Master Mario, this guy is calling you Master Mario, I'm just a master, right? So there's the cork, and a guy shooting whatever that is out of it. Now, I think you can actually cheese this. Like, I think you can uh, get up to the top really fast. It's either this one or a another shine. But this guy's, like, having a stroke or something. So we're just gonna completely ignore him and get up to the top. And this shouldn't be too bad. It's uh, just going getting to the top of the uh, mountain or hill, whatever you want to call it, and killing the... Well, it's not really killing him. Well, I guess it is, because he just, like, skyrockets, he skyrockets into the freaking distance. I don't know where he goes. I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, the gimmick with this level is that there's, uh, these things in the wall. I passed one. But, uh, you shoot with water. I don't know why I did that, but you shoot with water. So, as I was saying, this thing, you shoot with water, and, uh, it causes these to happen. Like, little indents in the wall. And there's a shine in a bit that actually requires that. But we'll get to that when we get to that, which might be in this video, it might not be in this video. I have no idea. But I'm surprised how far we're already out of water. Like, how much water we've actually lost. And I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be spraying these out to make platforms. Let me see. Yeah, you are. But, uh, yeah, we're just, uh, saying no to that, and we're just getting up it, because that's, uh, speedrun tactics, I guess. So this one, you're supposed to do the same thing, as you can see there is a uh, thing up there, but what you can do, which is what a lot of people do, not this, but uh, you can do this. And since Flood is like the best thing ever, you can just negate anything. So over here is a nice little convenient spot to refill your water, which is nice. And wall jumps are definitely good for this. I remember this one being tricky, because this one doesn't want to work. Yeah, like, there's a wall here, but it doesn't really want to be a wall sometimes, and stuff happens. So this is essentially refighting the, uh, mole that threw bombs. It's not really fighting him, it's just throwing bombs back at him. I guess it's fighting, but it's worse, because you actually have to make sure you don't fall off, which I'm kind of getting lucky right here. Okay, uh, one more should do it, and... Uh, yeah, there we go. So, you don't actually need to be moving forward when you do that. You just jump and press B, and he throws it. So, that's nice. And somehow this purifies the water, I think, anyway. I don't really know how that works, but, uh, we can't, we can't question good old Mario now, can we? Gather shine. Thank you. <clears throat> so, there's the 21st shine. This is gonna be mighty interesting, right? Uh, what part am I on? I think I'm on, like, part 7, and I've already gotten, like, 20 shines. I mean, 7 parts and 20 shines. I don't know if that's considered good. Well, considering the fact that these videos are, like, 20 or 15 minutes, maybe. Maybe, maybe. So, the boss of Tricky Ruins. So, this is probably one of the weirdest bosses in Mario history, because it involves you, like, cleaning his teeth. I don't know why. It's like that, but it just is. Oh, so the water's not clean. Okay. Thought the water was clean. That might, that must be just after the boss. So I don't know if you have to talk to this guy. I think you don't. Let's see. Hello. Excellent. Way to go, Master Mario. You have returned. I'll waterfall the normal. Okay, so he's going to tell us to go to the top. So basically, there's like all the shenanigans and, uh, I guess he wants us to go in there, which is 
play it. This space is actually a tomb. Can I see which shot that I'm on? Didn't it just say that I'm fighting like a boss? Or uh, let's see, the boss of, oh, okay. I was thinking of like the other boss in here. So there's like a blooper up there. That That's what this is. And if I remember correctly, I'm, I'm sitting here saying I don't remember anything. But uh, I think there's actually a bird that gives you a shine sprite. So that's basically just a free shine sprite. I don't know if it's the only place in the game that has that. Because uh, there's blue birds, there's green birds, which are just the uh, normal coins. There's blue birds, which are blue coins. And then there's also yellow birds, which are literally just shine sprites when you shoot them with water. But there's only like a couple of them in the game, if not just this one. And let me... Oh, leg. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see this. So, blue coin. Guess we can get that since we're here, right? Now, I believe this one, the one next to me, will just shoot you out, I think. But, uh, what is this? Do I just shoot this with water? Yes, I do. So that one was hidden. I don't even know how you were meant to like find that. I guess, whatever. A lot of blue coins in here. So I guess I'll just demonstrate what happens. Oh, is it not this one? It must be this one. Let's see. One of these, uh, it, it shoot, like it flings you out. I know it does, because I've seen it. So there's a thing up there. I believe there's like a passage somewhere. I don't even know how to get up there. It's been, been too long of a period of time. If that sentence was even coherent, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. So I believe this is the way we want to go, and square this. So this is pretty fun, like, not the hardest or anything. Not that I want it to be super, you know, overly hard, because then I'll be stupid. I'll be a stupid baby. Won't be able to do it. Just do this, just for a little, I guess, shortcut. Although, I don't think that's really a shortcut. But let's go. So eventually these will start going back into the wall because it's not a permanent thing. It goes back into the wall when you, uh, like if you wait too long. So you just gotta, you know, be quick. So we got blooper again. Hopefully we don't do nearly as bad as I have been doing. I want to see something. Because, yeah, you can do this, right? Like, normally you have to, uh, hit his tentacles or break them, I guess. But, uh, maybe it was this fight where I was thinking that you didn't need to do that because, uh... Yeah, like, let me, let me see. Just spray him. Okay, let go. Let me see. Okay, he's he's getting quicker now. So now we have to actually break these tentacles off. So normally what I do is I spray him with water. And that should be good. These tentacles remind me of something. I don't know what. Like, the red center reminds me of something. It's like... I don't know if it's like an olive or... I don't know why olives, but whatever. So usually you break off two tentacles, that should be good. Uh, after that, he doesn't normally... Yeah, like he doesn't normally hit you. Well, I could have stomped on his tentacles, I guess. That would have been better, but... Uh, surprised that that's only three... Like, that's only three... Uh, uh, well, two hits, I mean... So now we got the epic shine spray, and I believe there's something that you can do in here. Like, you can spray one of these and it gives you a... Blue coin, maybe? Or something else? Yeah, this. Here we go. All of these I've seen in, like, a video, like, years ago, and I'm surprised that I still remember any of this. Is that the only red coin? Or blue coin? I'm colorblind, apparently. So, another shine. There we go. About ten minutes. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, it's either this one or the next Noki Bay shine, where it's, uh do like the boss like there's an actual boss not just the blooper and i know earlier i was saying i i would try not to do the same level over and over just to get like variety but uh i don't know it's a new level you know you gotta you gotta uh, go in and out right just because it's new because logic so i've got it yes i surely do have it what have i got a bottle so this is a weird like one of the weirder red coins in the game because we go into well we get a helmet and then somehow Mario shrinks down to like an ant he becomes Ant-Man and he goes into the bottle how he does this I have no idea but this is also weird because for this one area the physics kind of change because we're swimming but it's not traditional Mario swimming if that makes any sense 
And it, you can use Flood as much as you want. Like, you can let go of him, you can reactivate him. It's the only time in the game I'm pretty sure we can do that. So if you're not used to it, then you're probably not going to have it. Like, if it's your first time playing, you're probably not going to have the best time. Oh, you gotta go wander now, I see. Okay, can we do this? There we go. Yes, we, there we go. So, I remember this taking a long time. Like, my first time, like, I didn't know what I was doing, because I didn't realize that, uh, where's the, where's the coin? Is it moving? Is it moving that coin? I think it is. But, uh, anyway, we are slowly dying, and I believe the red coins are giving us life, or air, I, I don't know. Okay, seven, and that red coin has to be moving. It's somewhere. But where is it? Oh, Flood also lasts infinitely in this. Like, it's weird. But where is it? Where are you? Where is the red coin? I just saw the red coin, and now it's gone. Uh, hmm. It can't be up here. It's got to be down below. But where is it? Oh, here it is. I found the red coin. Okay, so the red coin wasn't moving, I just totally lost my positioning. That's, uh, totally something I would do, right? Definitely. So, not the most difficult of red coins, not annoying either, it's just, uh, it's really nice because it's just a little confined to space. So it's not too bad, but, uh, weird gimmick. Just weird gimmicks all around. So let's continue this. And I guess I have one... I have time to do one more star, because I'm only on like 11 minutes, so let's, uh, let's go ahead, right? So let's just do one more. I guess let's, uh, let's pretty much almost fill out Noki Bay, because that seems like what I'm doing. I'm already on episode 4. Okay, yeah, so this is the part where the boss is, because it's like, a the dentist or whatever. Eerly Mouth's Dentist. This is, uh, this is pretty weird. Oh, Mario, you're finally setting out for the ocean's bottom. Yes. So we got the helmet. Oh, I lied. So, uh, the only other time is this boss fight where we get the weird water mechanics. Or, yeah, water mechanics. So getting to this boss is not the hard part. In fact, it's actually probably the easiest thing in this. And I say that as I'm, like, failing to do some simple platforming. I'm not used to this, guys. Calm down. I, I should be used to this. I've already done, like, several parts of this, but... Whatever. So if I wasn't sitting here like trying to do like spin jumps and whatnot constantly, maybe I'd actually be able to do something. But alas, that's just me being stupid. And again, this isn't the traditional way to actually get up, I guess. It's just what I do and probably what everyone else does. Because now we just go to... Well, we just jump in, right? Because that's how this works. Well, actually, no, you don't need to do that. You can actually swim to the bottom, I'm pretty sure. And you can do it that way. So I didn't even need to do that. But, oh well, whatever. <laughs> so, weird boss fight commence. There's a bunch of coins on the outside just in case you start dying, which you probably will. No red coins here. I'm, I'm pretty sure there's also a red coin uh, shine in this area. My sensors show highly toxic materials approaching. Your sensors. You're a freaking water pump. What sensors you got? So it's inevitable that you're going to be losing some life. So normally I just head over here because uh, you typically lose three life by the time you hit the bottom. And it's perfect because you can just get these coins. And the words aren't coming out of my mouth for some reason. So this is weird because uh, you're cleaning his teeth. So it's not really a boss fight, I guess. It's a... Uh, you're a dentist, that's what it is. You're you're a dentist, Mario. And the way that this works is uh, the hit detection is kind of weird for this. I don't know if I really agree, uh, agree with it. Sometimes it's weird, sometimes it actually works like it should. And uh, other times it just doesn't want to do anything. I've seen people actually one cycle this. I'm pretty sure I have. If not that, I've seen people two cycle this. I didn't clean that tooth, by the way. It's not clean. I think you can actually switch to the other uh, nozzle and clean it that way. Maybe that's how they intended you to do it, but I don't really know. Okay, uh, that tooth's good and it just fell out. Good. So he can swallow you up, which is why I'm trying not to go too far down, if that makes any sense. 
But yeah, there we go. I got one tooth. And I don't want to touch bubbles because the bubbles probably like insta kill you just because Mario, right? Everything's got to insta kill you in Mario. So this fish uh, swimming dangerously close to him. Too close. And I'm actually about to run out of air because I'm not paying attention. But yeah, you run out of air extremely slowly, so it's not anything to be too worried about. And just like that, we're already back. I don't know how coins give Mario air, but uh, I mean, it works, right? You would think it would be an ability that Wario would have, but I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, as long as you just hold down R, it seems like you always get out of that. Like, he doesn't, uh... I think I've only seen the animation of him swallowing you, like, once. But generally, it's not the hardest thing to, uh... Not, like, you know, get eaten by him. But this should be done by now. Oh, jeez. I did touch that. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what happens. You freaking almost die. Like, oh, God. And once we do this, this is pretty much it. So, uh... Let me see, like, can I... You're probably supposed to do this. Like, you're probably supposed to do that, the golden tooth. And we got one more. Okay, there we go. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Words to abide by. Words to live by. Golden tooth. So now Mario gets, like, super oxygen or something, because, uh... I don't know what they did for this part, but it's like Mario, uh, like you'll see my life meter, it's uh, or is it not pink? I remember it being pink. I don't know, maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Like a heart in coins, how lovely. I don't know if the 100 coin uh, shine or star or whatever is in this game. Maybe it is, I don't remember. But if it is, I'm not gonna really go for it. Actually, I think it is, now that I think about it. But anyway, I'm going to stop the video here because, uh, yeah, we just did, like, what, five, uh, shines in that amount of time, so it's not too bad. How many shines we got now? 24, so we did four, okay. Four in a video at this point, not too bad. So, uh, in the next video, we are going to go ahead and probably go to Sirena Beach. Well, there's two beaches, like, I think this one's Sirena Beach, that one's, uh, something else, I don't know. But I said I was going to go to this beach, and I'm going to do that. So, see you guys later, and I'll see you next time.